It's my birthday! No, it's not. My birthday was January 14th. And what I wanted to do for you guys is actually 17 tips and tricks that I actually learned for my 17 years of life. And anyway, let's just get started. So, um, here we go. Number one, staying healthy. Um, staying healthy, you only have one body in your life. And most of the time, you guys, most teenagers, you know that. Oh, like, oh, I want McDonald's, I want Wendy's, I want junk food, I want this, I want that, I want one apple. But when you think about it, you might, you have one body, and you eat all that junk food, you are basically eating all of your stuff up, and then you're like, the, what you're doing as a teenager will actually perfect, will determine what you do as your future, as, as you're growing up to becoming older. So always stay healthy and go out, go stay healthy and be active and just be healthy and be fun. Phones. I as a person, like I always look at my phone. Like sometimes like my parents say, say oh, get off your phone or whatever. And I actually do admit that. But when I, the one that I kind of bothers me the most is when so I hang out with my friends. Whenever I hang out with my friends and they're on the phones, and I'm just like, I, you asked me to come over to your house to hang out, and the, and you're on your phone. Uh, that doesn't make sense. So you asked me to hang out, and you're on your phone. So that to me is like, you basically just want to be here and whatever. So being on your phones, you're basically on the new electronics. There's actually more to life than the TV, the electronics, whatever. Go, just, there's more to life. That's the one thing that bothers me if they are always on the phone, texting a parent or whatever, texting a friend or whatever. And that bothers me. Number three, it is a clean room. I personally always like to have a clean room. And I always like to have things in a certain way. And just always have to be organized. So... Always how I personally enjoy that. If you agree with me, you guys should always have a clean room and just having a clean room helps me know and just organize and having like a schedule of what to do by homework and everything. So always having a clean whatever that helps me. It might help you also, but that's just my opinion. Number four, it is music. Music is actually a big part of my family um and it's also a big part of my life also and I, mean, I started actually the cello in fifth grade and I played open string so I was like do, 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 do. and I knew going into middle school that doing orchestra was really hard so I just did the um, Cry, I did cryo and I absolutely love cryo. I love like singing, I love singing, and I also love like hearing um, singles, the, like the lyrics and those songs, because sometimes those songs reflect the things that are going on in my daily life. So I always love singing, and sometimes I post singing videos, as you guys may know, and I just love that. And that's just a big part of my life. Um, um, try really hard. If you are doing something, let's say you are about to like do something in your life and you are like about to accomplish something or about to do something and you think you're about to like, oh my god, no, I don't want to do it anymore. And you're halfway there. Go for it. Keep on going because you're almost there. You're halfway. Why go and like stop? halfway there yes life is the climb and you'll always get there and you'll always be like oh no i'm gonna turn around but if you keep on going then you'll get there eventually trust me i've been there um this is the one thing that bothers me the most as a youtuber and as a person i am a youtuber and just me and i love and i am a person and i love making youtube videos me and i have People that I've met maybe once in my life, or just people that I know and just I know in real life and just know, and they come and they watch my YouTube videos, and then they write 
this basically bad and mean comments. And I was like, why are you writing mean comments? And then I have, they sometimes I say it to my face. And I'm just like, why are you going to write it to my face? And then it just hurts me as a person because it's like, I make YouTube videos because I enjoy helping those people out there. And just because I get more like YouTube likes or more Facebook or Instagram likes doesn't mean that you might not. So don't really like be getting mad at me just because I make YouTube videos. If you want to do that, go make YouTube videos. Go have fun. Do it. Try it. It's actually really fun. Um, this is just my own opinion, and actually, it's not really an opinion, it's actually a statement, and it's actually really true. When you get to know me, I'm actually really crazy and outgoing, and I can be your really best friend, and I'm really out there and going. But, but let me tell you this, I am, am, I am, can be really, I can be your best friend, but then when you go to my bad side, if you do something mean to me, and you're just, and I get really mad about that, I can be your worst friend, I can be really like, oh no, I can be a total mean person. I am also, like if let's say I have food or like a boyfriend or anything, I am really territorial. So for example, let's say I have a boyfriend or food and I'm just like, this is mine, this is mine, do not get into my territory. If you get into my territory, I can be so mean and I'm like, I make it known that this is mine. If they get into my territory, I get mean. So that's why I just learned to let you guys know that I can be like that. Make new friends. Making new friends is also the best thing. Like, if you have friends and they're like kind of like, okay, yeah, just make new friends. I mean, yes, you have you have your old friends in life, but then you can also make new friends in your life. Making new friends is also the best thing in the world because, um, you know, like, you can, the, like, true friendship is, like, the people that, like, know of what's going on and everything. Anyway, let's just, I'll keep on, I'll talk to you more about that, um, and things that are coming. Um, always help people. People that need help. I personally enjoy helping people um, with like Down syndrome. I personally like helping people. I don't really help my mom, but I should help people. Helping people is actually the best thing to do. So help people. Helping people is actually the good thing. If you always have the right attitude. Let's say when you're having a bad day and you have a quiz today. Always having the right attitude can help. Um, I was like, oh yeah, I'm okay, I can do this. Doesn't matter if so-and-so did that to me, I can pass this test. Because if you don't ha um, have the right attitude, it's most likely that you're probably going to fail or like not pass that test. I'm sorry for telling you that, but it actually happened to me. So, let's just always have the right attitude. Do things now. Like, don't wait for, like, let's say, so-and-so to do something. Don't oh, go for it. Do things now. Don't wait. Don't like always sit on the couch and go. When is this gonna happen? I don't know. Whatever. Just always wait and just go and keep on going. Do things now. Um, go explore. Explore. Explore life. Go to places. Go be the little person that you wanna. Be. Go see Spain. Go to Greece. Go wherever. Go to Europe. Go explore and have fun with your life. Um, if you do, do nice things for yourself. And just, if you have a bad day, do th nice things for yourself. But also do nice things for other people. And then they will probably do nice things for you also. Also go for it. That's another thing. Like I said, just go for it. Do, go for things that are going for your life. Just go for it. If you go for it, then you're going to have a fantastic time. So go for it. Always go for what you want in life. Um, now, boys. Okay. So, yes, this actually happened to me. I, like, I know people are like, oh my gosh, I need a boyfriend in my life. I need a whatever in my life. I need this in my life. 
personally, I've had that happen to me too. I've lost someone like, oh my gosh, I need this, I need this in my life. But, like, really, you don't really need a boyfriend in life. Enjoy your life now, and maybe when the time comes, he will come and stuff, and he will actually slip you off your bite. I personally have been hurt so many times in my life, and it actually hurts me to say that because I've had boys say, oh, don't worry, I'll never be like him. I'll never hurt you like they did in the past. I'll not do that, call your names. I'll never do that to you. I'll never do whatever. And then they did. So it's really hard for me to really say boys are really boys. Boys will be boys. And sometimes it's hard to say, oh, yeah, boys will be boys. And so, yeah. And last but not least, friendship. Friendship um, has been really hard for me this past couple of years. I've had friends that come up to me and say, oh, yeah, don't worry, Sarah, I'll never hurt you, I'll never do this to you. And then they actually turn behind my back and then they do something to me and it's, it's all for me. True friendship isn't about who you know the longest. It's about who has been there for your side and will never, like, let go and say, oh, don't worry. So that's who true friendship is about and what is true friendship. So... True friendship, like, if never really go into, like, let's say, um, you met someone, like, with a mutual friend, or whatever, and don't really, like, go into, like, say, oh my god, yes, I like you, whatever, like, don't, like, be in, like, that kind of, like, friendship, like, oh my gosh, let's be instantly, like, be friends. Making new friends, you have to, like, find the cons and cons of what really friends are, and, like, it's, like, okay. Yeah, we can be best friends, or we cannot be best friends. So that's what I think friendship is about, and also what all this list of things. These are my um, top 10, well, top 17 um, things that I've learned for my 17 years of life. If you like this, give this a thumbs up. If you do, if you like it and you think I should be keep, keep on doing this, um, just leave a comment below. Or just also give this a um, th thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. So peace, love, sale. I love you guys. Bye.